people still can't wrap their heads around that you can just get it and just pay for the energy. Hello. Yeah. Uh, my name is Yuan Rong. Uh, I'm com I come from Apple, and I am managing a big part of the iPhone hardware hardware develop product development systems. So I had a question for Elon uh, in terms of batteries. We did, as as you probably well know, uh, we at Apple buys uh, is probably one as well as Tesla is probably one of the biggest buyers of batteries. So we did quite a quite a bit of thorough studies on batteries. We understand that um, chemistry material, packaging, and process does affect uh, cost and performances. But just there's one thing I cannot understand, really want to get, get an answer from you is, uh, we, buy, we bought a lot of pouch materials in terms of form factor. And as we know, um, Tesla is, is buying all 18650s. Right. Uh, in terms of portable electronics application, we see uh, the difference between the two form factors to our, uh, in our application is pretty minor. Just, from a system perspective. So my question is, what's so special in electric vehicle applications and uh, grid storage applications about 18650? Well, um, in what, what energy density are you getting in the, at the, in the power cell? Sorry, can't talk about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, I get sued. I'm sure it's public domain at this point. So, sorry, it's probably pulled a uh, laptop apart or an iPhone apart. Uh, but uh, the... You know, at the 18650 level, we um, in in high production, uh, we can get to 260 watt hours per kilogram. Um, that's considerably better than any pouch cell that I'm aware of. Um, and the cost per kilowatt hour is also the lowest in the 18650 form format. So that that's really those are the two things that matter the most. Um, and so. If, so it doesn't make sense for us to go away from the 18650 format. It, it, it does make much more sense for, for Apple making, say, a cell phone or a laptop because the 18650 format is, you know, it's, it's sort of 18 millimeters in diameter. So that's, you can't do something like um, a MacBook Air or an iPhone uh, because you'd have a minimum dimensional tolerance of 18 millimeters plus your packaging.